and uh, I'm quite sure that we will be as successful this time also as we were in the year 2017 for the under 17 boys world cup 16 teams should be here we would be hosting 16 teams and i'm quite sure that they will find it really comfortable uh, to be here and to participate here and uh, i think there's no doubt that we would be able to live up to the expectation of all the football lovers of the world and uh, we will again create a record so far as the spectator attendance is concerned for this uh, under 17 girls world cup and uh, all of us would be really excited to organize this tournament in the best possible manner and uh, with the support of FIFA and uh, all the stakeholders of football in India and beyond, uh, we would make everybody an event, an event to remember, to cherish for all time to come. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, I would now like to request Mr. Agrawal to kindly address the media. Good evening. Uh, we welcome the FIFA project lead and uh, the LOC tournament director. Mr. Datta is our own. So I would not, in that sense, welcome, but welcome to this place. The state government has already shown how they can rise to the challenge of organizing not only the events which were assigned to them but also the events which were kind of given to them at the last moment because of some exigencies and state government is as committed if not more as it was during the last tournament. Calcutta would be pleasant at that time next year I hope and we will all have a great tournament not only in terms of attendance in the city wise but also players coming here and the, and the visitors coming here from abroad to experience the city at that point of time and the state government reiterates its commitment not only for the tournament but also build up to the tournament which was done during the previous occasion similar if not better things will be done thank you thank you so much Finally, I would like the LOC Tournament Director, Ms. Roma Khanna, to summarize and say a few words. As you can see, uh, good evening everyone. As you can see, all the key stakeholders that are crucial along with the media out here are there. Uh, so all I would like to say is that taking upon from what Mr. Agrawal also said is that the commitment we count on the government of West Bengal and on the Chief Ministers uh, passion for football and we are extremely confident that what was done in 2017 would be up and done better by the state government, by the AIFF, by FIFA and by the local organizing committee as well as the support that uh, we would be getting from media to make sure that what even in terms of the coverage and the support that they gave last time around, they would top it up. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to now open the floor for questions from the media. Good. What are the matches to be held in Kolkata? <coughs> so the schedule has not been finalized as of now. They are, we're just starting the inspection of uh, the probable host cities. Post that, uh, we would go back, FIFA would evaluate, and then we would be able to give you more information on that. So I, at least either usual or the final one of them? At this point of time, we are unable to give you that information. When can we expect it to be decided upon? So you would be getting that information out if as things stand in the first quarter of 2020, so early next year. Uh, it has been very two years that the uh, men's under 17 World Cup was held. So, uh, so what are the parameters <coughs> that uh, you are looking at and are there anything different that we will be looking at for this particular tournament? Uh, well, I think we 
we can summarize what we what was said before. You had the voice uh, under 17, so that's uh, why FIFA is also open to come back. We expect the same commitment, the same enthusiasm from all of the cities uh, which are hosting uh, the women's under 17 uh, tournament. And we want to bring football to India, we want to bring uh, football uh, to the women in this country and uh, so therefore we are very very proud to be here and I think it's it's very very good and it's the first time that uh, a women's uh, team from India participate uh, in the World Cup and I think that is that is fantastic so and uh, when the interest was there from the Federation um, of course we were very open because of what happened in 2017 when we just hosted uh, a very very successful under 17 boys event and I only can repeat myself we expect the same next year and it's human nature human being to always do better and better we want to build up what was done in 2017 and uh, go a step further and even do better and therefore we need all stakeholders so we work very closely together as a team and we need everybody we also need the media to promote the event, to be behind the event, and then uh, we are very confident it will be a successful, a successful tournament. Mm -hmm. From our end, also what we also see is that because it's a women's tournament, it's also something which is new for the Indian public. You get to see a new product for the first time. You get to see 16 best nation national teams basically coming and showing you the best and the beauty of women's football. We also see that if everyone comes together, the participation of young girls in India taking football as their sport of choice. So those are the clearly the things that we aim also with this tournament, the hope that we have in terms of uh, the objectives, uh, in terms of uh, how we launch and how we plan this tournament. And maybe to add also in this regard is that it was uh, very successful. If you see the Women's World Cup, which was held in, uh, in France this year, it was huge. It was uh, a big, big success around the world. So when now next year you have this key player in the future, they will give their debut the first time they play uh, in the international or on the international stage is, is in India. Because it's a World Cup. We should not forget it's a World Cup. We have the 60 best nations in the world playing here in India next year. And I think that is fantastic. And if you have to decide uh, when to form warm his uh, team uh, because uh, now he is uh, observing all of them play and uh, uh, and he he is uh, an expert he's the right person competent person first quarter and then a job i think we uh, that up to him because i don't want to trespass into an expert's area thank you very much thank you so much for